Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial here at the YouTube channel of Publer. My name is Yorgo and today we're going to take a look at how to use Telegram within Publer. We're going to discover how you can connect your accounts, your channels and your groups within Publer, be they private or public. And then we're going to take a look at what the differences are between the two and how you can schedule a post to Telegram. So without further ado, Let's first take a look at how you can add the account. So you would have to go to accounts, click on add account and scroll down to Telegram. Here you need to make sure that your Telegram group or channel, it doesn't matter if it is public or private, has Publerbot as an admin. There is a tutorial we have already created and you can find here. So if you follow that, you'll be able to follow the steps, but we're also going to go through the steps together on this video. So now we simply need to go to our Telegram group or channel. Here I am on the Telegram app and I am on the channel that I have currently created. To access the administrator's panel where I can add the admin, Publerbot as an admin, I simply need to go to Publer channel, go to administrators and then click on add admin. Here make sure to add the Publerbot as instructed, click on the bot with the Publer image. Make sure that all the necessary permissions are given and click on done. And after that, you will be able to see the bot as it has been added as an admin of this channel. Right now, this channel, we can see the info of this channel as well by clicking on edit, where we'll be able to see even more information and settings. As we can see, this is a private channel. However, we can change it at any time and make it a public one. For the sake of this video, we're going to keep private channel. Here, we're able to see the channel type and underneath that, we're able to see the invite links. So the way we got there is by going to the channel itself, clicking on edit, and then going to invite links. Under invite links, you will be able to find the link that has been created from Telegram and also the Publerbot link, which is the link you will be needing in order to add this channel. So if I click on it and click on copy link, then I will be able to add this Telegram channel to Publer. So let's go to Publer, paste the link that we have, confirm that you have added Publerbot as an admin and click on add. As we can see, the channel was successfully added. So if I go to accounts, either on the create page. I will be able to see the public channel right here or under account as well. I should be able to see the public channel. There we are. We can always change the settings for this account. You can create a posting schedule to make sure that you're consistent and coherent with all your updates. You can create watermarks to ensure that there no digital copyright infringement happens. Signatures whenever you want to add any outros to any of your updates for the channel, URL settings to shorten the links and track using UTM parameters and short codes, which are little words that have certain values that you can use at any time. So back to the create page. Now that we have added our Telegram channel to Publer, let's also take a look at how we can add the group. So if we go to add account, choose Telegram. Here I will be able to add the invite link for the group again. Now that we're here on the Publer group, let's take a look at how we can connect the group to Publer itself. It's very similar. Simply go to Publer group, click on edit here, and then that will take you to this page. You can click on administrators, which is where you can add an admin, and in this case, add the Publer bot. If it doesn't show up, simply search for Publer and it will show up the bot. After that, you can give Publer any name that you would like. Make sure that you have selected all the necessary permissions and then click on done. After that, you can go back to the group itself click on edit and here you will be able to find invite links again. Under invite links, since this is a private group, as we know, we have to choose the invite link of Publer that is generated from the Publer bot. I copy this link, I go back to Publer, paste it here, confirm that Publer bot is an admin and click on add. And I have successfully added my group. For any public channels or any public groups, so if we were to change this to public, we would be able to add this group to Publer by simply sharing this invite link, which is the link that is generated from the group itself, or by sharing the name of the group, Publer group. Now let's take a look at how a post looks like when creating it from Publer and sharing it to Telegram. First of all, select your Telegram account. Make sure to add any labels that you like. For example, Telegram updates, give it any color you like. I'm going to give this a blue color and click on save. Here we can use short codes as we mentioned. We can use pin tags, HTML tags as well to customize our text and to be able to share any updates the way we like to share them. 
Let's say we want to let our channel members know about the latest update that we've had. So we can just share this message. Latest product update we have for you here. Here you can choose to share a link, share uh, just a message, or even make this message customizable by adding hashtags. Or even just make this text bold. So if I select the text and then click on bold, this will be made bold. So you can also just click select the text and then click on control B and that would make it uh, bold text. I can also simply make it um, italic and so on and so forth and you can also add some emojis there we go so let's post this right away so that we can see what it looks like for the telegram channel but otherwise you will be able to schedule it normally and use any of the scheduling methods that we have for popular from schedule to auto schedule recycle and recurring Below this video, make sure to check out the description as we'll be sharing a guide on how to use any of the four scheduling methods that we have in public. Let's click on post. And then after that, we're gonna go to posts to see how this was shared on Telegram. So if I click on Telegram here and then go to post it, I will be able to see the post that we just created and shared to our Telegram channel. If I click on the eye icon here, I will be able to view posts on Telegram. I can also click on the timestamp on the top right corner and it will lead me to open this post on Telegram on the app itself. As you can see, this update was just shared on Telegram. Check out the latest product update we have for you here. We can see that the text is bold and italic based on the formatting that we did. Now let's take a look at what it would look like if we used HTML tags to make the text bold or italic. So if we want to make a piece of the text bold, what we can do is first write the text and then add the certain tags after it, or we can just start by creating the text right away. Write the piece of text that we want to make bold, which could be check out our latest. And then for product update, we know that we want to make this part italic. So update here, and then we have the link just like we did previously. However, to make it italic, we simply will be using the same logic, but the different tag, which would be I for italic. Now that we have made the specific parts of our text bold and italic, we can also add the hashtag product updates. You can also hyperlink your text, so add link on top of your text, you can underline it, strike through, and also use other HTML styling. So if I click on post, or if I click on preview, I will be able to see what this post looks like. And when clicking on preview, I'm able to see what it would look like on Telegram. I can also post it and then take a look at what it looks like live on Telegram. And this is what the post looks like on Telegram. As you can see, there's a little difference between the bold and the italic version of the HTML styling from the one that we use on public. And now let's take a look at how we can use HTML tags to create hyperlinks for Telegram. If you don't remember the specific tags that I'm going to create now, you can always go to our guide at the Help Center where you can find this specific article about how to style Telegram text using HTML tags. Here you can simply copy this line, then go to Publer and paste it. This is the place where you can insert your link, the link that you want to be placed over the text and this is the text that you want to use, so online URL. You can always preview this within Publer as well, so if you click on preview you'll be able to see what it will look like, but let's try to create another example. For example, let's put the Publer website and then here say Publer website. You can always put some more text before that and say check out the Publer website. And then we can also preview this here. This is what it will look like when posted on Telegram. But to make sure, let's click on post so that we can see what it will look like live. And as you can see, this is what the post will look like. As you can see, if I click on that, it will lead me to Publer.io, which is the website. But let's see what it looks like when we share a post to the public group. So let's create the same post again. 
check out our latest product update here. Once I make sure to add the link, I can also add a hashtag. Remove this. I can also add a emoji here and make this part of the text bold and this part of the text italic. After that, let's just simply post it so that we see what it looks like when it's posted on the group and you will see what this looks like on the public group that we have just shared. So as you can see, there's a little difference from the way it is shared on the Publer channel because here you can see that Publer bot shows up on the group when you're sharing any posts. In a group, it will always show up next to it, next to the name. But for the channels, it won't show anything. So this is the only difference between the two. Otherwise, everything is pretty much the same. And you can also use the HTML tags to post to groups just like we did and posted earlier on the channel. So that's all when it comes to scheduling posts to Telegram. Keep in mind that you can also use all of the other superpowers of Telegram as well. Thank you for joining me today on this video tutorial for Telegram. Please share any of the comments, feedback or questions you have with us in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye.